Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to talk about the uh, Benchmade Tengu Flipper. Now, this was loaned in from my buddy Gil over at Wild About Sporting Goods. Uh, I'll put a link to his channel down below. And I'm also not going to talk about all of the specs, weights, and sizes, and dimensions, and all that of this knife, because I've done a Tengu video uh, on their standard model. So I'm just going to link back to that video. It'll be down in the description. You can go check out that video for all the specifics because this is the same dimensions and everything as that first uh, video that I did. This one is different because it comes from their gold series. So here's the actual number if you're interested in that. Now the Gold Series does step it up a little bit. I mean, even the packaging of the Gold Series is better. It still comes with, you know, a microfiber type pouch, but it has a cutout for the knife in the packaging, where typically the Benchmade's is just a cardboard box with no padding, and they put the knife inside of the microfiber pouch, and then they just drop that in and it goes chicka 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 chicky and that's what you get. <clears throat> so this one, it does elevate that. Now there is elevated material on this as well, and we'll go through that, but there's also an elevated price, okay? So on the Wild About Sporting Goods website right now, the standard Tengu flipper is $187. Now remember, you get 10% off of that $187. This gold class, which we'll zoom in on, is on their website right now for $550. i am not going to say that that's too much. Let's just talk about what you get first. Okay, and I'm going to read it off of this card here because this is a limited edition. But I did not know, I could not determine exactly how many they're making. This is number 1608 out of, I don't know. If you're gonna make it limited, you should put what the, out, the, the total number is. Now, the thing about the Tengu, which I don't like, this is my personal opinion, is there is no pocket clip. There's no pocket clip option. There is nothing. It comes with a slip. Even the standard one comes with uh, a slip that you can then shove this in. I'm sure over time it kind of wears in so that it fits all the way in nice and easy. And then you throw that in your pocket. Or you just throw the knife in your pocket. I don't really carry knives without clips other than my little small uh, Swiss Army type knife. It has a little flashlight on it. And that just does drop into the bottom of my pocket and it just is loose in my pocket. Um, my brother has the Chris Reeve uh, Nandy and he just throws that in his pocket. I don't think he carries it in the slip, but this has an upgraded slip also. This is a shark skin leather pouch or slip with the blue stitching that matches the blue hardware. So they did it really nice. And it is a very well-made uh, sharkskin uh, pouch slash slip. So that's cool. This is what the, they call this the Bifrost Pattern Damasteel. Okay. It's pretty cool. Not a lot of branding. You got the Benchmade logo there. Joe Arsen or eh, to Josser Knives, and it's number 1608. Now, I do like how they did a different font for the numbering of these because I think that's very cool. I do love carbon fiber, and I do love Damascus, and I like Damasteel also. I prefer Damascus, but I love blue and gray. Like, the colors on this is fantastic for me. So it's a white and black marbled carbon fiber with dual G10 inlaid decorative shields. So this is the uh, G10 
shields there, which is cool. Um, it's a Raffer SFX Blue Uranium with inbreded bass brass mesh backspacer. That's just a mouthful that rolls right off the tongue, right? So you can kind of see through. It has some opaque, opacity. But the backspacer looks really cool with that kind of brass twine interlaid into the backspacer, which is cool. I like that. Uh, sapphire blue PVD coated liners and the hardware. The liners came out really cool. I love the look of that carbon fiber and the blue liners. It just works really nice and is very aesthetically pleasing to me. Just a great color combination. Got some lint there even too, because you know, real world here guys, real world. All in all, it's a very cool knife that's a little on the small side. And we'll do a couple of size comparisons. I didn't actually even measure this, so you'd have to go back and look at my other video, I'm sorry. Um, but it runs really good, has good action. There is no jimping on the flipper tab. And I think it could use a little bit, honestly. It, it fits well in your finger and it works 99.5% of the time. Okay, I think it's done really well, but a little jimping across the top would benefit it, in my opinion. And then if they put a pocket clip on it, because I don't know about you guys, this is a little big for me to just toss in the bottom of my pocket. I, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm, I'm very interested to hear uh, your thoughts on that. But all in all, it's super cool. The fit and finish is fantastic. It really is well done and it looks really good. So let's do a couple of quick size comparisons to give you guys an idea here with the Sharpie. The Spyderco Delica, which you know I think is a small knife. So yeah, there's that. The Quiet Carry Waypoint. So all in all, this is a very cool knife, but without the pocket clip, it's a no for me, guaranteed. Here it is next to the small Honey Badger. So it's about the same size. It's, it's slightly smaller than the Honey Badger. Um, and just because it's also carbon fiber, the Hellraiser P-Series. Obviously, it blows it away size-wise, you know, and that's just kind of the point. To just give you guys a rough idea on the Tengu. It's a cool knife. I'm not going to lie. They did it really well. I just wish that, and I, you know, and I'm pretty sure I said this in my first video, that it needs a pocket clip, because then it would be a cool knife to carry. But just thrown in the pocket, I think for me... It's just too big to just drop in the bottom of your pocket. So let me know what you guys think down below. I'd greatly appreciate your thoughts and opinions. Um, but yeah, here you go. This is the Benchmade Tengu Flipper, the gold series uh, or gold class version from Benchmade. Go check it out at the Wild About Sporting Goods link down below, as well as the video on the full uh, on the on the standard version where I talk about all the dimensions and all of the good stuff. So this particular one is brand new. It was made in April of 2021. I do love the fact that they put a little birth card in there with some information. All the specs are inside of there as well. I think that's very cool. So all in all, this does get a thumbs up, but uh, Pocket Clip would have just been much more user friendly in my opinion, but let me know your thoughts. All right. Thanks everyone. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.